did I agree with what he said? No. Everybody goes, if you support him, then you must be racist because he's racist. I'm not racist, neither is Piers racist. On Wednesday's episode of The Talk, Sharon Osbourne and her co-hosts address the backlash facing the 68-year-old TV personality since defending Piers Morgan for his decision to leave Good Morning Britain. I had a good chat with ITV and um, we agreed to disagree as well as his comments about Meghan Markle. I'm sorry, I don't believe a word she says, Meghan Markle. Well, that's a I wouldn't believe it if she read me a weather report. And the fact that she's fired up this, this onslaught thoughts. against our royal family, I think is contemptible. And now a source is telling ET that the ladies of the talk had a closed door meeting after filming Wednesday's show to discuss what happened on air. But the source adds nothing was resolved. If pe people know you're not racist, they would want you to stand up to your friend who has done racist things, who has been sexist in the coverage of, of Megan. While you're standing by your friend, it appears that you give validation or safe haven to something that he has uttered that is racist. I feel even like uh, I'm about to be put in the electric chair because I have a friend who many people think is a racist, so that makes me a racist. It all started on Tuesday when Sharon tweeted that she stands by her friend Pierce, writing, quote, people forget that you're paid for your opinion and that you're just speaking your truth. Do you think you went a bit too far? A lot of people are saying you No. No, I believe in freedom of speech. I believe in the right to uh, be allowed to have an opinion. Well, that tweet landed Sharon in the hot seat. He doesn't want to understand that how uh, Megan was treated was racism. That white entitlement privilege that makes it racist upon itself. Once you say I stand by my friend, then, then people think, well, then you must agree with what he's saying. When we kind of give passes or give space to people who are, who are, being, who are saying damaging, harmful things, what we're kind of doing is permissing it. And I think that's what people are reacting to. Sharon got visibly emotional during the conversation, noting that she doesn't agree with anything Pierce did or said, but he's always been there for her as a friend. Yeah. And I think we should stop this <laughs> And don't try and cry, because if anyone should be crying, it should be me. Right now, I'm talking to a woman who I believe is my friend, and I don't want anybody here to, to l watch this and so either we're attacking you for being racist. I think it's Anything? too late. I think that okay. seed's already sown. Hours after the show, Sharon posted this video of an unbothered panda eating carrots alongside the caption, Wednesday? One follower suggested that she should have disabled her comments, to which Sharon replied, quote, never. Another social media user posted a lengthy message about Sharon's attitude on the show and how her co-hosts were, quote, trying to get you to understand from the perspective of a black person. Sharon's response? I actually really appreciate and respect this comment. Your approach allows a lot of room to listen. As for Pierce, he also responded to the daytime talk show host, tweeting in part, quote, when stuff like this happens, true friends run towards you, fake friends run away. I love Sharon Osbourne because she always stays true to herself. 